to Four Sides TV with me, Esma. On October 7, 2023, Hamas, the militant group controlling Gaza, initiated a large-scale attack on Israel named Operation Al-Aqsa Flood, resulting in over 1,200 Israeli casualties. This unprecedented assault caught Israel off guard as Hamas operatives employed a combination of rocket fire, more than 5,000 rockets and ground incursions including the use of paragliders. In retaliation, Israel launched an air-ground invasion of Gaza, leading to a devastating humanitarian crisis with over 40,000 fatalities reported in the region since the conflict's escalation. This report outlines the significant destruction in Gaza, the objectives of the Israeli responses, and the broader regional implications of the conflict. Here's a heartbreaking report from Foresight's TV. The conflict has left Gaza in ruins, with the UN satellite center UNOSAT reporting catastrophic damage across the territory. A detailed analysis of satellite imagery revealed that more than 52,000 structures were destroyed, while an additional 18,913 were severely damaged, and the urban landscape has dramatically altered, with an estimated 66% of buildings reduced to rubble. Moreover, significant agricultural lands had been affected. UNOSAT reported that 79% of the crop land in northern Gaza has been destroyed, leading to a potential food crisis for the region's 2.3 million residents. Open source satellites image illustrate the stark contrast between pre- and post-conflict conditions, showcasing a once densely populated area now largely barren and inhabitable. The humanitarian impact in profound with hundreds of thousands of displaced as families fled south to escape violence carrying their belongings in various forms of transport amid ongoing airstrikes. In response to the attacks, Israel has set forth three primary objectives, avenging the loss of life, dismantling Hamas infrastructure, and securing the release of hostages. The Israeli military campaign has successfully disrupted much of Hamas command and control capabilities and some hostages have been returned. However, the ongoing conflict continues to escalate tensions in the region. The situation is further complicated by external actors, including Hezbollah in Lebanon and Houthi rebels in Yemen, who have opened new fronts against Israel. The conflict with Hezbollah has resulted in significant casualties on both sides and forced many Israelis to evacuate their homes. Additionally, Iran's involvement has heightened tension as missiles and drone attacks have increasingly targeted Israeli territory, marking a shift in Iran's military strategy. The international community's response has been largely ineffective, with the U.S. and other regional powers struggling to broke a ceasefire. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has maintained a hardline stance, insisting on the continuation of military operations until Israel's objectives are fully realized. The broader implications of the conflict extend beyond Gaza and Israel, potentially destabilizing neighboring regions and inviting further escalation as militant groups align against Israel in solidarity with the Palestinians. The aftermath of the October 2023 conflict has left Gaza in a state of devastation, with thousands of lives lost and vast areas rendered uninhabitable as Israel pursues its objective of retribution and the eradication of Hamas. The humanitarian crisis deepens, raising urgent questions about the long-term implications for stability in the region. The ongoing violence compounded by the involvement of various militant groups and the failure of international diplomacy underscores the need for a comprehensive and sustainable resolution to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. Without concerted efforts to address the root causes of the violence, the cycle of conflict is likely to continue further exacerbating the suffering of civilians in both Gaza and Israel. That's all for today. Thanks for watching Foresight TV with me, Esma.